We don't have to be in high society. If your love's so real, it's good enough for me. Long as you need somebody, and somebody needs you. Guess what? You got to What's good, y'all? Boy, Mr. Vaughn, and we back. Mr. Vaughn's channel sweatbox active is what we keeping it. <laughs> yeah, you know how we do. So today, quick, I just want to talk to y'all real quick about um, this order that Trump signed. An executive order to continue the work on the Dakota Access Pipeline and the Keystone Pipeline. So uh, yeah, this is, a bad, this is a bad day for all my folks out standing rock and all the water protectors out there. Um, all the hard work over the last six, six, six months and longer than that, just all the hard work, uh, we had felt like we made some progress. And then Trump comes in with one pin stroke and, but why would he do this? Of course, it's so terrible. It's a, it's a terrible thing. Why would he do this? Why would he sign an executive order to continue building these pipelines? Why? I wonder why, huh? Is it maybe because he owns stock in the companies that are backing the pipeline? Is it maybe because he appointed Rex Tillerson to Secretary of the State, who was a former employee in, uh, of, of ExxonMobil? I think those might have something to do with it. Understand, people, I said it on day one, Trump doesn't give a damn about anybody. He doesn't give a damn about any of you. All you people in middle America who voted for him, hoping he was going to bring back jobs, he didn't care. He cares about one thing, lying in his pockets. Lying in his pockets. He is 100% in the pocket of big oil. I mean, come on, man. And another thing I want to call out right now is the fact that CNN, CNN, who's supposed to be doing their job, and they're going to hold Trump accountable and stuff like that, but here's what I have a problem with. No coverage of the, of the news about the uh, DAPL and Keystone Pipelines. They mentioned it as a side note when talking about the story about Trump claiming three to five million people voted illegally in the in the in the uh, in the primary election. I mean, in the general election. That's what he. That's what he was. That's what he was complaining about, and that's what CNN covered. No coverage of the pipeline of the Dakota Access Pipeline. In the Keystone Pipeline, they mentioned it as a side note to the main story of Donald Trump uh, complaining about non-existent voter fraud. And they have talked about the non-existent voter fraud and the impact of that almost all day, and no coverage of the executive orders about the pipelines. CNN, you guys got to do better. Look, we all know Trump is a liar. We all know that everything he said about there being voter fraud—it's not true. Nobody believes it, and if you do believe it, if you do believe it, I feel sorry for you because you're not of the highest intelligence level. It's just not true. He can't produce any evidence of it being true. Once again, he sent his press sec his press secretary out there. I'm gonna just call him his his press slave, his man slave, Sean Spicer. Sent him out there again to sit there and say, yeah, well, that's what the president believes. I don't care what the president believes. Present some facts or shut up. God, Donald Trump is such a disgrace. And CNN, you're a disgrace for covering that and not covering the real story. Not to say that that's not a real story, but it's not as more it's not as important as the executive orders that he signed to continue with the work on those pipelines. That is the real story, and CNN completely ignored it. You guys got to do better, man. You guys got to do better as a news organization. And we got to do better as people holding these news news organizations just as accountable as we hold Trump. These news organizations don't like Trump, but they don't want to lose access to him. So they're only going to say so much. But we got to demand truth in every, not alternative facts. I don't want to hear that bullshit. We want factual facts. We want good old original facts. I want the OG facts, not this newfangled alt-right facts. This is what they might as well call alternative facts, alt-right facts. So come on, man. This dude is doing terrible things every day. Him and Rex Tillerson, big money, oil. That's what they're doing. Big money, oil, that's who they're getting paid by. That's who they're concerned about. They don't care about me and you. They just don't. 
Keep it locked right here, people. It's your boy, Mr. Vaughn. I'm going to keep it coming. Keep the content flowing, you know. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace. Keep it 100.